Hey everybody, Jason here. So I'm out at the camp. Today's, I believe it's January 13th and it's about minus 13 degrees Celsius out. Uh, this week we had quite a warm up. It went up to above zero for a couple days. Uh, it actually got up to about 10 degrees, which is kind of freak show, you know, at the, near the middle of January. Um, so we had a lot of snow melt off. I was a bit concerned about how the shelter would hold with such a quick thaw. Um, but yeah, it got out here and everything's fine, so that's good. Today I'm going to do more work on the shelter. Uh, specifically, I'm going to try to focus on getting a, a cook set up so I can, you know, make myself, you know, a hot drink easier. Um, but I also want to check out the, uh, the stream over here. It sounds like it's flowing again from the thaw. So yeah, I want to go have a quick look and yeah, see how it looks. You know, I think the benefit of getting out here doing videos, you know, film work is, uh, you know, being able to take the time, you know, just these small moments between running the camera and, uh, you know, just being able to have a look around and experience things like this. Yeah, anyone who, you know, is living in an area like this or has access, you know, we really are privileged.
All right, so I gave some thought to what type of uh, cooking setup I would do out here. Originally, I was thinking I'd do, you know, just a basic tripod over the campfire, but then I thought about it, and, you know, lately, especially with all the snow build up around, um, the, there's really not a lot of space to walk around within the camp. So I decided what I'm going to do instead is just do a, a single pole. Um, so what I've done is I've got a, found a, a branch and it's got a, you know, so I've got the main branch and then I've got a smaller piece that comes off of it. So that's up near the end. So that'll basically hold any rope or even if I hang a pot up high, it'll just, you know, it's a little notch that'll just naturally hold anything in place. So then the, as you can see, the branch comes down. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to nail two stakes on either side. All right. One that way and one that way down into the ground to help secure it. Okay. So I'm going to nail those down. Uh, then I'll test it, you know, and make sure about the weight. I might have to make longer stakes. Um, I've notched out the stakes on the one side, so that then I can uh, tie the two together with a piece of paracord. Um, and I think that should work out just fine. If I find that there's too much weight, though it's, you know, in winter it would be tough, but if I find there's too much weight from the pot or, you know, whatever I have on the other end, I can just get a rock and sit a rock over on this side and that'll help hold it down. You know, the main thing is that, you know, just like, you know, it, it's, it's a lever, so it's a, you know, a teeter-totter basically. And so what I've got is, uh, you know, this side is much longer than what's hanging over top of my pot. So, you know, the amount of weight that I put over at this end is, doesn't have to be as much as the weight over on that side. Um, as far as weight goes, really I'm only going to do, you know, like, you know, a, a liter of water at a time probably. Um, you know, that would be a couple cups of coffee for me. I'm out alone, so, you know, that would be plenty. So, yeah. So I'm going to nail these in and then we'll test it out. All right, well, looks like the pot setup's gonna work. So I don't know why, but today I'm feeling the cold worse than other days. Hands are freezing. So I'm gonna get a fire going, get a pot of coffee going, and I'll show you uh, how to make bushcraft coffee. Coffee grounds, pot, no filter. Let's go.
Okay, so bushcraft coffee. So the first thing you're going to need to do is obviously start up your fire. Um, I'm going to use a, a Coleman kettle today. I've already added the water. It's not going to boil up there, but I'm just the kettle's been sitting out here and it's minus 13, so I'm just I'm just letting it warm up a bit. Um, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just build basically like a, a hunter fire layout, two poles on either side. Um, and then I'll just set my kettle down inside of it with the water, get the water boiling. Okay, well, I can hear the water boiling and there's some steam coming up through the spout, so it's time to add the coffee. All right, so basically I've just got regular ground coffee in a container. Yep, boiling in there. So now I'm just gonna dump my coffee in here. And now I'll just let it continue to boil for just a few more seconds just so it gets all stirred up just from you know the whatever the convection in there okay now I'm just gonna lift it off the heat and I'll hang it up over the fire just let it brew for a minute or two okay okay so now the secret of bushcraft coffee. What I've done is I've gathered up some snow in my cup and now this will work with uh, cold water as well. So all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna sprinkle that in on top. A little bit in the spout, but mostly just in the top here. Lid back on. Yeah, that's the stuff. So, bushcraft coffee, making coffee in a pot with coffee grounds, no filter, and when it's time to drink, there's no coffee grounds in my cup. Pretty good. Okay, well, basic uh, cook system set up, and uh, so it's one more thing done in camp. The shelter's still not what I set out to do, so. I think uh, next time I'm out, I'm gonna do some more work on that. Set up a, a firewood shelter so that I can get the firewood cleared out of there and build a sleeping platform. Um, yeah, lots of improvements to do around camp. So yeah, it's good. Hopefully you're enjoying the series so far. You know, thanks for watching. Um, if you are, please give the video the thumbs up and yeah, leave me a comment. Uh, tell me what you think, all right? Thanks.